and they say they are going to be attacking the children and young people. The person in charge of health for St. Mary says that 10% of all those who catch this new illness are going to die. Now, it simply means that you will have to take your children in order. They have already produced the vaccine to mitigate this illness. Now, we know what the vaccine was like during the pandemic. And they are coming out with another new vaccine. In addition to that, they tell you that they are going to be changing the currency um, from June next year. Now, as soon as they change the currency, they are going to be coming out with a digital currency. This is to, this is to make sure that they control your ability to buy and sell. The world is coming to an end, Virgin and friends. We are living in the last days, and we see that the whole world is sliding into moral decay. It simply means that we have to get back to the system where we keep the commandments of God. In November this year, the world leaders and the world government, the religious leaders, they went to Mount Sinai and they got a new set of Ten Commandments. This is what is governing the world right now. The Minister of Finance says that he just got $1.7 billion from the IMF. And this is going to be able to stabilize the country for next year because they expect that there is going to be volatility in the country. It simply means, brethren and friends, we can look forward to new lockdowns next year. And so, if you are not putting your houses in order, you are going to be get caught in a bad situation. Now, the Revelation 13 tells us that no man will be able to buy ourselves the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, they are coming in with a new digital ID and social credit system. Once you become a part of the system that is coming, it simply means that they will have you in their system. And this system is running the entire world because all the countries of the world are going to go digital. Never in the history of the world, every single country have the same currency. This has never happened before. It simply means we are in the last days. So we are here to warn you that come next year, the new respiratory disease that is coming out, all of these things, is just to get you as part of the system. Now they tell us that too many people are living on earth right now. And we are all um, eaters, useless eaters and feeders. And so they are going to put a system in place to get rid of most of us. Virgin and friends, we are here, we are giving you the magazines, we are giving you the books. Read them um, and see what is happening because very soon, you, if you don't take heed, you won't be able to make it. I want to thank you very much, Ella Anthony Brown, for giving us those information. I really hope that every single one of us who are listening and understanding what is happening for we are right on the brink of eternity we are right at the time where the coming of the lord is imminent and the only reason we are here is to remind each and every one of you that indeed our lord is coming soon and so as you listen as you heard what anthony ella anthony brown just said about the events that are taking place and the new ones that will be coming on that you put your houses in order that you also protect those who are closest to you your loved one your children and tell everybody that you meet that the, you should ensure that you have the type of connection with god that is necessary because if you don't you find yourself in deep trouble all right, we are going to pray now. So I'm going to ask you to bow your heads with us as we pray. Calling on Elder
Douglas. Please stand up, Douglas, and come and pray for us. We're going to pray now. All right, let us go ahead as we pray. Our oh, Father, which art in heaven, we are really thankful to you that you have given us the opportunity to be here in Port Maria with your people. We thank you, dear God, that your Holy Spirit's presence was with us. And we thank you for the people of Port Maria. We pray that they will understand the situations that are taking place in the world and the times in which we live. And they will make the necessary adjustments in their life so that when you come, you will find the persons who are ready and willing to greet to us, Lord, at the end of their life. We thank you for hearing our prayers. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to thank you, Pope Maria, for listening to us and for taking the time out of your busy schedule to hear this information that we have brought to you this afternoon. Thank you.